Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be doing a little bit of a haul and by a little bit, I mean a really big haul. Over the last like three weeks or so, I have gone a little nutso with the makeup shopping. Like it's not been good. I've been on a low to no buy for so long and then I finally like got some money. I finally was able to justify some purchases and I kind of went nuts. Nuts for me anyway. Like I see like YouTubers hauls and they're like massive, like they spend thousands. Not like that, okay? Um, I'm a little more responsible than that at this point and I'm also not quite financially stable enough for that kind of haul. However, I did do some shopping, it was my birthday, so I got gift cards and then the Sephora sale was on, so I got a lot of kit products. So I thought I would just share it with you and I can kind of, you know, catch you up on my life because as you know, I have not been filming as much. If you follow my channel closely, you probably noticed that. Anyway, let's get right into it because I feel like we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I am also gonna talk about some things that I got in PR in this haul, but only the things that I haven't talked about previously on my channel. So the ColourPop and Avatar The Last Airbender collection and things like that. Um, I'm not going to talk about on here because I already have a video on it. I will link it in the cards up above if you're interested. But I will mention some PR because I didn't get to talking about all of it. So um, I don't know where I want to start. I guess we'll start like a couple weeks before my birthday. I'll kind of go in like order of purchase, I guess. About a week before my birthday, I went shopping. I went to the mall for literally one thing. And then I also had to go to the bank, which is at the mall. And then I got sucked into Sephora. You know, like how that happens, it's okay. And I wanted to try a new cream bronzer. So I think I have already mentioned this on my channel, but I haven't like explicitly talked about purchasing it. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butta Biscuit. It's really nice. I've been enjoying it so far. All of my other cream bronzers have just been way too orange. And I've been really into a cream bronzer. So I wanted something that was a little more cool toned than the ones I had in my collection so I picked this up and I was like you know happy birthday to me and I also wanted to try this this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Power Flex Concealer I've tested it a few times I think I like it I don't really know we'll see I have to test it more um I thought this could be like a good hydrating alternative to shape tape for my kit. Honestly, everything I try is like with my kit in mind. I have a lot of complexion products because I'm trying to update that in my kit. So yeah, that was kind of my thought process behind this concealer. This is just the mini. Um, I've been doing minis because I want to test things out first. And in order to test things out, it's just a more economical option for me. And then I also got my birthday gift because it was like a week before my birthday. But since I was in store, I was gonna get the Olaplex set. They didn't obviously have it in store. I think that one's like the online gift set. So I opted for the Tatcha set. It just comes with the rice wash and the dewy skin cream. So I've kind of been working my way through these. And then around that same time, I got the Fenty Beauty PR, which is their lipsticks. They're like refillable, which I really like. So I got the one case and then I got all the colors. And I actually bought this color because I depotted this shade and used it for my kit. I actually depotted a bunch of the shades for my kit. I figured I only really need one shade at a time. So I got the shade Mother Lover. I bought this one myself. I'm wearing it today. I really like the scent. It's like a cream finish, pretty high pigment, like full coverage lipstick, not really sheer. But yeah, this has been really nice. It kind of smells faintly of the gloss bombs. So I have every color. Um, so that's kind of nice. I still have these four. Oh, I have five actually. Five bullets that I still need to depot just because it doesn't make sense to like have them in like a bullet form. I've been putting them in my, I never know how to pronounce this company, Viewset? 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 I don't know. Uh, just one of these palettes. So I've been depotting the Fenty Beauty lipsticks to put in here because they're really nice colors. They are colors for all skin tones, so that's great. So yeah, I've been really enjoying those. I just didn't really get a chance to talk about them on my channel. I think I actually got this PR before my birthday that I'm about to talk about. It was sent to me in like February around Valentine's Day and it took like a month to get to me. So I wasn't sure if I should still talk about it because I'm like, it's kind of late, you know what I mean? Uh, these are the Such A Kiss Lippy Sticks Vault from ColourPop and the Such A Flirt Lippy Pencil 
vault. I've actually been using these for my kit because they're really nice, neutral, yet pinky undertones. I feel like all of the neutral lip liners I have currently are very um, peach and warm toned and I have been really enjoying like something with a little more pink to it. And then I also, I haven't even opened this one. This is the Lippy Sticks Vault and it has a bunch of beautiful colors. I didn't really get to this because I've kind of been prioritizing the Fenty lipsticks. Oh, this is interesting. They're like clear so you can kind of see through and you can see like the springs in it. That's interesting. Oh, that's a nice color. It also looks like it's been touched. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, so I still have yet to test these out. Uh, but I hope to do so very shortly. Oh, I got the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation. I didn't include it in this video because I had a whole video dedicated to it. Again, I'll link it in the cards up above if you're interested. But with that order, I also bought the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I still haven't really gotten a chance to try this out. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna wear or anything because I plan to take this off like immediately after this video But yeah, I got this as like more of a hydrating concealer because I'm just looking for You know a more hydrating option to shape tape because that's what I use for like my full coverage glam But I've noticed, you know as trends evolve and stuff the dewier finish is a lot more popular a lot more of a dewy sheer finish And I want something that's more dewy and sheer for more mature clients like mother of the bride, you know that kind of stuff So I want another option. So I feel like there's kind of a theme. I've been trying a lot of dewier, less full coverage concealers. Again, haven't really gotten a chance to try this one much. Today is the first time I'm using it. So far, so good. But if you want to see a video on this, let me know. Actually, if you want to see a video on any of these products, let me know. Then my birthday came and my mom was actually in Florida on vacation for a little bit and we don't have Ulta in Canada so I sent her a couple products that I wanted to try out. She didn't get me all of them because the new iPhone update like when you send photos it just sends the first one so she didn't see like all of the other ones behind it which is fine I'm just really appreciative that she got me anything. So the first thing she got me is the Ordinary 100% plant derived squalene. I wanted the Good Molecules one because I absolutely love that squalene oil. I mean, this is fine, but I can get it in Canada. So it's like not as exciting, but you can get good molecules in Canada. It's just, it's a little harder to get. Um, and it's not really available in stores versus the ordinary. You can just get it at Sephora. So it's like, I don't know. It's not as exciting. This one I was kind of disappointed in. This is the Tree Hut Cotton Candy Shea Shea sugar scrub, that's hard to say. I thought this was gonna smell more like cotton candy. It just kind of smells like it's a sweet scent but it doesn't smell like cotton candy like at all to me. It's okay, um, I'm definitely gonna use it up. You can get Tree Hut scrubs, I think in Loblaws around here or like a superstore in Canada, but like not the fun scents. It's like the rose and like citrus. I don't know, I've definitely seen them around, but like nothing in a scent that would interest me enough to actually purchase versus I love cotton candy and like sweet scents, sweet candy scents, not like sweet citrus. So I thought this was gonna be right up my alley, but Turns out it's just okay. Then I got the Truly Buns of Glowry Smoothing Butt Butter Tighten and Glow. I don't know if I actually believe, well, I'm pretty sure I don't believe this can tighten any, you know, skin, but I have been using it on my butt and my boobs because I'm getting old, I don't know. <laughs> and it's like more of an experience than anything else. I really like how it's like pipetted. It has like a really nice watermelon scent. It's like a light watermelon scent. And I don't know, I just, I have been enjoying it, but again, it's more of like an experience than I feel like it's actually doing anything. Like the first two ingredients are like shea butter and coconut oil. It's got a lot of soothing butters and like really hydrating butters, but do I think it's gonna like firm my skin? Not really. This is a product, again, that's kind of hard to get your hands on in Canada. So I asked her to pick up one of these from Ulta. And lastly, this one I'm actually pleasantly surprised by. This is by Hemp's. And I know you can get this in Canada. Um, I've seen them around at Winners, but we only have like very limited scents. I think we have the pineapple melon. I don't know. It's just, it's very limited scent wise. And I love vanilla and sweet candy scents, like I've said. So I got the Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Herbal Body Moisturizer. This one's limited edition. And it's got like little shimmer particles in it, which I wasn't expecting, but I really like it. And it literally says on the bottle with a touch of shimmer. So like, I don't know, maybe if I could like read I would have known that. But yeah, it was a nice little pleasant surprise and I really like this so far. I just didn't want the pineapple one. I think I might get that one for the summertime. I feel like this one smells more cotton candy-ish than like the cotton candy scrub. It's not super vanilla, like it's not, 
like a warm vanilla scent. I don't know, I just, I was hoping for more from the scent department in the products that I got. So yeah, that is what my mom picked me up from Ulta. Then I was browsing winners. Um, what was I getting? Oh, like a sugar-free coffee syrup. And I saw the Sweet Like Candy Fragrance Mist by Ariana Grande. I like fragrance mists, especially just getting out of the shower just adds like something light, but like nice smelling. So you smell all clean. So I've been really enjoying this, especially because this is a newer product. I was surprised to see it at winners and yeah, I got it on a deal. So that's great. Then actually on my birthday, I placed an order to Shine by SD Cosmetics and I got four eyeshadows that I have been eyeing for about a year. Sorry, I'm trying to pick them up. I've been eyeing these eyeshadows for around a year now and I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Happy birthday to me. So I picked up four shades. So last time I placed a Shine by SD order, which I think was a little over a year ago. I think it was like last January. I got reserve number one. So this time I got reserve number two, which was the one that I was like really wanting in the first place, but it was sold out when I placed the order. So I got reserve number one, I guess. I wanted reserve number two and they finally had it in stock, which is really exciting. Like a pink to greenish gold. That's what that looks like. Look how reflective and stunning and duochromatic. Oh, love it. And then I also picked up reserve number three because why not? This one is more of a pinky toned one. It flashes like pink and gold, I'd say like a goldy neutral. So there are those side by side. You can really see the flash there. <gasps> those are so pretty. I haven't used those yet, so I'm excited to do so. Then I got the shade Fairyland from the Primavera Crystal Collection. I'd say blue to pink shimmer. You can see the blue there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the pink to flash, but it's definitely there. And lastly, this one was a pricey one. This is from the Dynasty Series 1. This is the one I've been eyeing for over a year. This is the shade Glam Rush. As soon as they swatched this one, I was like, yeah, I need that in my life. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. So this is what it looks like, like in the pan. It really flashes pink, but then also like goldish green and also has some purple in there. Like it's crazy. So you can see it there flashing pink and then it kind of flashes gold. And then there's some purple. Oh, do you see that like blue green coming through too? Like how is that all in one shade? Wow. So cool. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I have no regrets. These are such pretty eyeshadows. And they're a little Canadian company. So if you're Canadian and you're wanting sparkly eyeshadows, you could also support Cleona. They're based in Toronto, uh, but their stuff's like always sold out and Shine by SD is almost always in stock whenever I check. If you're wanting another Canadian sparkly eyeshadow company to support, that's a good one. So for Christmas, my mom got me like a gel nail set so I can do my own um, gel artificial nails. I spend a lot on getting my nails done and I was just kind of over it. I was like, I don't wanna spend the money on that because the only reason I get my nails done is so I don't pick at my skin because I physically can't. As soon as the nails come off, I am just like picking at mostly my lips, but also my entire face. So I get these done, but now I can do them myself. So I wanted more colors. So for my birthday, my now husband, I keep calling him my fiance still, He's now my husband. He got me a bunch of gel nail polishes. These are from Revel Nail. I really like this company. They are based in the USA, but they do have a Canadian warehouse. So the shipping's really fast to Canada. There's no import fees. It's great. And these are like $8.99. Some of them are a little sheer. You do have to build them up. They're like the cheapest gel polishes that I've been able to find that actually are like good quality. So I got a pink called Lucy, uh, another light pink called Prima a really hot pink called Flippant, this kind of nudie shade called Alter, and this is the one that I'm wearing right now. I actually really like it. I like it more than I thought I would. And then I got this like periwinkle blue called Agave. Very pretty. So it looks like the Beauty Blender foundation might be discontinued. So I'm trying to look into other liquid foundations for my kit. I'm really hoping that Beauty Blender is just like redoing the packaging of their bounce foundation because the packaging on it like really sucks. So I'm hoping that they're just like discontinuing it and then, you know, redoing the packaging and then gonna relaunch it. Hopefully, I really, really hope. So in the meantime, I wanted to try other foundation formulas. Again, something a little more glowy. So I tried the RCMA foundation. This is in the shade N130. It's a pretty good shade for me. I'm wearing it today. Like it so far. Again, this is the first time I'm using it. So take it with a grain of salt. I might end up hating it, but it was a little bit like thicker than I was expecting. I was hoping for something a little bit thinner, but it's fine. It looks good. So yeah, and I am picky with foundations. I will 
will say. This was a little expensive though. I think this was like over $50 Canadian. Tati is the one who put me onto the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. And then I've put everyone on to it in my life. So when she said that she loved this, I was like, okay, let me pick that up. So yeah, she was right. It does have a really lovely finish. I do enjoy it so far, but yeah, this is my first time wearing it. So then the Sephora sale hit and you know, wedding season is coming up and all of my old Tarte Shape tapes were just that old. So what I did was I got like, I think more than half the shades, but I got them in mini size. So this is only one mil, which isn't like economically a better value. I got the one mil ones because I found what happened was I bought like $700 worth of shape tape and they're all expired and I didn't use half of them. So I bought these little one mil ones to see what shades that I go through the most. I do know that I already go through light neutral very quickly. So I bought a full size of that, but you know, makeup expires, you have to replace it. Like this is six months. So what's the point? You know, like it just doesn't make sense. So I bought this one cause I know I go through this one a lot. I also bought fair neutral cause I know I go through that shade a lot. Those are the ones that I have had to replace within the six months but everything else I just got little mini sizes so I can kind of determine okay I'm going through the shade medium sand a lot quicker so let me pick up a full size of that. I'm just doing this so it seems less wasteful so when I do have to get rid of these because inevitably I know I'm not going to use up all of the deeper shades but I still need to have them in my kit because I need to be able to cater to everyone and anyone right but at the same time there are certain complexions that come to me more often than others. So I thought this was a good solution. I think I got like $250 worth of mini shape tapes. It was quite ridiculous, but that's what you have to do when you're a makeup artist. I also got, again, this is coming from the perspective where I'm getting a lot of clients asking for a do or finish and I don't carry liquid highlighters in my kit. So I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow because this is the one that I really trust. I really trust this formula. I think it's fantastic. So I got the minis in this too, because again, since it is a newer product to my kit, not a new product to me, but since it's a newer product to my kit, I don't know how quickly I'm gonna go through them. So again, I got the mini size just to ensure that I don't, you know, waste a bunch of product. I'm trying to not waste product because, you know, when you're a makeup artist and you have to keep track of expiry dates, I don't do that in my personal collection. I just use it till it's done. But when you're a makeup artist applying products on different people, you have to pay attention to that sort of thing. And so I just found that I was wasting a lot of product and you know, not good for the environment, not good for my wallet. So I'm trying to really hone in on what I use the most and you know, kind of going from there. So that's why I went with the mini size of this. Plus it's like only $20 when the full size is like 50 or I think it's over 50. So that would hurt my soul to get rid of a whole one of those. Okay, and let's go in with these two products that I also got at the Sephora sale. This was another thing that, you know, going through my kit I was getting rid of were a lot of pressed glitters. And I do get the odd request for some sparkle. So I got the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliners. I just find that these are so much easier to work with than a pressed glitter. Um, I wanted to get the shade Midnight Cowboy, but they were sold out. So I'll probably get that at another time. I got the shade Starfire and the shade Pyro. So I just thought these would be much easier than a pressed glitter, less fallout, easier to apply and that kind of thing. And my pressed glitters were getting old. So trying to reduce product waste. Hopefully I'll get more use out of these. I also picked up a couple drugstore items, which is weird for me. I got the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This was like $17. That's not drugstore pricing anymore. Anyway, I got the shade Vanilla. Um, I'm excited to try this out. I have heard a lot of good things. I've seen it on TikTok and I trust TikTok very much when it comes to reviews. I feel like every TikTok viral product has like, you know, pretty much worked for me, the ones that I've tried. I'm gonna try this out. I'll let you know how it goes. I just got this, so I have not gotten a chance to try it yet. And then I got this from Quo Beauty. I haven't bought from Quo Beauty. You can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart, Law Blahs, that kind of thing. A featherweight cream blush. And I read online that these are a similar product to the Glossier Cloud Paints. And again, I don't have a lot of cream products in my kit, but I need cream blushes to achieve 
believe that dewy look. So I actually did buy some cloud paints, so maybe I'll do a comparison video to this. So yeah, I do like the fact that they're both in a tube. That's why I ultimately went with that formula because I can squeeze it out onto a palette and it remains hygienic. Instead of scooping out the product with a spatula, it's just, it's easier when it's in a tube, you know? And I've heard great things about the cloud paint. So those are also coming in the mail, but I also picked up this one. So if you wanna see a comparison video, please let me know. And I do have a couple other things coming in the mail. I have the RCMA Cream Blush Palette and the cloud paints that are still coming. Oh, I just placed a Sephora order yesterday because I had gift cards for my birthday and I bought the Natasha Denona what did I buy? The pastel palette. So pretty, right? I was really interested in that. And then I had the gift cards and then with the 20% off sale, the gift card covered the entire cost of the palette. So I was like, perfect. I will get that because I love eyeshadow. I just do. And then the last thing I got, this one's really random because if you know me, you know that I don't do hair, but this is the Amica Le Marcel Professional 2-in-1 Swivel Curler. Even heat distribution allows for full style and creativity with a quick twist of the grip. I'm learning how to do hair. Fun, right? I figured that but if I do makeup, I do get a lot of, you know, people asking me if I do hair as well. And I always have to say no and refer them to someone else. So I'm like, hmm, what if I just learn how to do hair? So the girl who did my hair for my wedding, her and I have become friends, really, really like her. She's super awesome. And she was gonna teach me how to do hair for free. Because the thing is, I had a hard time finding somebody who would teach me how to do hair. Like I was willing to pay. I just couldn't find someone to teach me how to do hair and just like styling instead of like the cut and color aspect because I don't wanna know how to do that. I just wanna know how to do an updo. You know what I mean? I'm really excited. I had my first hair lesson yesterday on my day off. So yeah, I'll post a picture of my first updo right here. Please don't be too harsh on me. It was my first time. I'd never even curled hair before this. Like I know nothing about hair. So I'm excited to learn. I also have a mannequin that I bought. I didn't want to show her in my haul though because I figured that would be like kind of creepy but I did get a mannequin with like real human hair so I can practice. Yeah I'm really excited to learn how to do hair and add that to like my repertoire of things that I can actually do and services that I can provide. So yeah very excited about this. Yeah that is it for my haul. That's so much stuff especially for me because I've been on such a low buy for a year but a lot of it is for my kit and my business so there is always that. Um, it's just hard to justify when wedding season hasn't started yet. I think that is it from my haul today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It helps out my channel so very much by you watching. So thank you. Please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.